Yeah, it was, um, you know, apart from the last probably 30 minutes against Ottawa, I thought we were really moving in the right direction. We had a positive result in the first game. Should have probably come out with the victory against Toronto, absolutely. Should have picked up the three points. And then it was uh, quite the match in the final game against Ottawa. And when you go 3-2 up with 30 minutes to play, uh, you really expect uh, to come out with something. So it was a little bit disappointing. Maybe it was the uh, the third game and a little bit road too far for us. But, you know, everyone was disappointed because we, we really put in a quality three games, in my opinion, on the road. So, yeah, very happy to be back at City Stadium. The irony, yeah, yeah. we scored three goals. We <laughs> created numerous opportunities and then, you know, we, we've uh, conceded five. You know, there's a couple of reasons for that. We uh, had Alex Lee, our right back, suspended. Um, 24 hours before the game, and you know I made the decision also to to, to take Connor out of the lineup. So there was two changes to the back four, so that can, that could maybe explain some of it. But again, you can't go anywhere and expect to win matches when you concede five. So, yeah, it's huge for Kamara because I know he, he actually was was uh, brought back up to DC United for the Wednesday game. He came on for the first team for DC United for 20 minutes in Orlando. So he's very confident. Uh, that's that's going to be positive. I think we still had a good game with a couple of assists, and yeah, we, we started to create like our old selves and create and create more chances. And we we continue to work on that this week in practice. They're going to play a certain way. There's, you look at their stats; they score goals for fun. They also concede quite a few. So um, it's going to be interesting. We'll see how well we match up because they they're going to attack. They're going to high press you, and um, you know it's going to be tricky because if we if we don't score first, they could put a lot of pressure on us. To be honest, um, no. I have not, and it's uh, annoying to say the least, and uh, it doesn't sit well with me, but it's the reality of the situation, and it's, uh, like I said to all the guys, it's an absolute challenge. We should be relishing, because it's not really, a, it's not really adversity when you look at things going on around the world, so I've kind of make sure we understand it should be a, should be a fun challenge for us to, uh, to figure out. On the positive side, you look at the standings, you are near rock bottom, but... You know, you're probably two wins away from being right in the in the playoff push, and uh, we've got to get those couple of wins on on the bounce. You know, the great thing for us, I mean, you're absolutely not at contention. Just looking again at the standings, you're you one win away from being right in the playoff mix, and then two wins to being right up there in the top six. So everybody really outside maybe the top four teams are not breaking away from the pack right now, which gives us um, every opportunity and motivation. To get after it, and no better way to be back at City Stadium. You know, I've been on the road five games this season, and there's not an atmosphere close to City Stadium when there's five or six thousand fans there. So, great night for it Saturday night. Great night for the uh, RVA community to come back out and support us uh, and get us back on winning ways. Same I tell you, it's be beneficial for the fans to watch because it's going to be open. Um, it's not good for my heart, I can tell you that, because <laughs> they've got some very dangerous players. And it's really difficult to to come out with a game plan to to stop them. So um, it is going to be an open game, and they're going to get chances. And typically, they will leave themselves exposed when they do that. And then we have to exploit those opportunities also. And it's not about. I, I really, truly don't think we've played poorly. We're a little inexperienced with regard to how we win soccer matches and, and some of the more established players in the league. There's not a lot of, never mind the age, there's not a lot of guys who've played professionally at this high level over a period of time. In some ways you could say Durkin, even though he's 17, has you know, won more matches and played in, in bigger events than some of, our, some of our guys coming out of college. So that can tell you a lot of where we are. But it is an honest, hard-working group who are desperate to improve Nobody's uh, leaving the group right now. They're absolutely 100% in to, uh, to get ourselves back in a playoff hunt.